The NHL is filled with stars, but not everyone can be the leading man. After all, there's only one Gotham City, so there can only be one Batman. But even Batman needs a bit of help, so let's give some love to the NHL's Robins. Although often overshadowed by their team's hero, these sidekicks deserve praise as the best number twos in the league. Taking into account both current ability and overall body of work, let's count them down. Number 10, Carolina Hurricanes' Andrei Shvechnikov. Andrei Shvechnikov is the Robin to Sebastian Ajo's Batman. Although Shvechnikov was drafted second overall in 2018, Ajo has emerged as the Canes' leading man. Ajo has averaged over or near a point per game in four seasons, and is averaging over a point per game this year. Shvechnikov has been Ajo's wingman. This best season coming last season in which he tallied 30 goals and 39 assists for a total of 69 points. With Aho being 25 years old and Shvechnikov being just 22, these two are well positioned to be a dynamic duo for many years to come. Number 9. New Jersey Devils' Nico Heischer This leads us to another dynamic young combo that's just getting started. While Jack Hughes rightfully gets all the attention in New Jersey, Nico Heischer is also a first overall pick and forms a formidable tandem with Hughes. And it looks like the 24-year-old Ford is peaking at just the right time. The Devils have been one of the surprise breakout teams of the season, largely in part because Hughes and Heischer are both on track to have career years. With Hughes being just 21 years old, expect even more from these two over the next decade. Number 8. Chicago Blackhawks' Jonathan Taves The entry of this duo isn't surprising, but maybe the roles are. At this stage of their careers, Patrick Kane is assuming the role of Batman, while Jonathan Taves is going from the leading man to playing second fiddle. Taves' leadership has made him the heart and soul of the Blackhawks for over a decade, but Patrick Kane's sustained offensive prowess and playmaking ability as him emerging as the team's superstar. The question now is how long will these two be wearing a Hawks uniform with the team in the midst of a rebuild and a trade deadline looming? Number 7. Washington Capitals Nicholas Backstrom Alexander Ovechkin is in the midst of chasing history as he closes in on Wayne Gretzky's all-time goal-scoring record. The man who's been feeding him one-time passes for the majority of his career has been Nicholas Backstrom. As a matter of fact, as of producing this video, Ovechkin has 628 of his 810 goals in 1,025 games playing with Nicholas Backstrom in his career. More precisely, through their first 1,000 games together, Backstrom assisted in 274 of Ovechkin's career goals, making up 35.9% of his goals at the time. Additionally, Backstrom assisted on 117 or 41.9% of Ovechkin's first 279 career power play goals, which was already an NHL record at the time. Number 6. Tampa Bay Lightning Nikita Kucherov The Tampa Bay Lightning's top-to-bottom star-studded lineup has propelled them to three straight Stanley Cup Finals, but we'll be focusing on the leading men up front. So the question becomes, with so many potential combination, who is Batman and who's Robin? From the very start of his career, Steven Samkos has gotten all the attention as a first overall pick. He also has an impressive overall body of work as the newest member of the 500 goal club and has over 1,000 career points. So he's our Batman. As for Robin, we're going with Nikita Kucherov. Some may argue he should be Batman as he is a former Hart Memorial Trophy winner and has twice hit the 100 point mark, including accumulating a career high 128 points. Number five, Boston. Boston Bruins' Patrice Bergeron The Boston Bruins don't have a dynamic duo as much as they have a sensational trio. Brad Marchand, David Posternock, and Patrice Bergeron all deserve a mention here. At this stage of their careers, Posternock has taken on the leading role as Batman and at the perfect time too, as this is his contract year. Posternock is on pace for a career year and has already eclipsed the 30-goal mark for the sixth 
time in his career, establishing himself as one of the NHL's premier goal scorers. Most like Robin is Bergeron. Steady, flying a bit under the radar and always dependable. Bergeron is one of the best two-way players in the game, winning the Selkie Trophy five times has also won the Marc Messier Leadership Trophy. What about Marchand? We have a special role for him too, as the Joker. Given his on-ice antics, it's only fitting he gets this distinction. Number four, Colorado Avalanche, Miko Rantanen. The Colorado Avalanche have their own triple threat with the threesome of Nathan McKinnon, Gabriel Landeskog, and Miko Rantanen. In this case, McKinnon is the clear Batman of this group as he's established himself as one of the best players in the game and has the fresh new contract to prove it, which makes him the highest paid player in the NHL. As for Robin, we're giving it to Rantanen. Given Landis Gog's injury trouble and the fact that he gets recognition as the captain, Rantanen is quietly putting together a strong career and is coming off a strong season last year, which he set a career high with 36 goals and 92 points and is on pace to shatter those totals this season. He's eclipsed the 80 point mark three times and is averaging more than a point per game in his career. Number three, Toronto Maple Leafs Mitch Marner. When it comes to the Toronto Maple Leafs, Austin Matthews always leads the discussion. He's possibly the best current goal scorer in the NHL today and plays in the league's biggest market, so he's always in the limelight. With him through it all has been Mitch Marner. The two entered the league together in 2016 and have been inseparable since. During Matthews' career-high 60-goal season last year, Marner led the way, directly contributing to 23 of them, equating to 38% of the total. No other teammate generates as much offensive success with Matthews. Marner is a proven playmaker, tallying at least 40 assists in all six of his completed NHL seasons and has developed into a great two-way player, even occasionally playing as a defenseman for the Leaves. The only question that remains is when will this dynamic duo get over the hump and make it to the second round of the playoffs? Number two, Edmonton Oilers, Leon Dreisaitl. Snagging our second spot for Robbins is Leon Dreisaitl, who can be argued as being one of the top five best players in the game. However, that gets overshadowed when you're playing alongside the best player in the game as Connor McDavid's teammate. Dreisaitl has proven his own abilities taking over when McDavid has been injured and being a trusted player when he's in the lineup. When McDavid went down with a severe leg injury, Dreisaitl achieved a career year during the 2019-2020 season when he snagged both the Art Ross Trophy and the Hart Memorial Trophy. He has twice scored 50 goals in a season and has eclipsed the 100-point mark three times. Which Canadian team duo will be first to hoist the cup? David and Dreisaitl or Matthews and Marner. Number one, Pittsburgh Penguins, Yevgeny Malkin. When it comes to sidekicks, none are better than Yevgeny Malkin. He's been riding shotgun with Sidney Crosby since 2006, and the two have formed one of the most dynamic duos in NHL history. Well, Sid the Kid has been busy as the face of the league. Malkin's been no slouch. On their way to winning three Stanley Cups, Malkin has won the Calder Memorial Trophy, two Art Ross Trophies, Conn Smythe Trophy, and a Hart Memorial Trophy. Malkin's averaged well over a point per game in his career, is nearing 1,200 points total, and has three times scored over 100 points in a season and three times scored at least 40 goals in a season. And it's not just Malkin's on-ice performance that makes him an ideal Robin, he's always had Crosby's back. The best example of this comes in the 2011 season when Crosby was struggling with injuries. Penguins players began to ask if they should name another team captain in the lengthy absence of Crosby. Malkin stood up during a team meeting and proclaimed, Guys, Sid is the effing captain. This list was a lot of fun to compile, but it is, of course, completely subjective. So we'd love to hear who some of your favorite NHL Robins are.